And we are back, y'all. Police quests one in pursuit of the Death Angel. And we are really in pursuit of him because we are hitting in game. We got old Sunny Bones, got his hair all dyed blonde. We got our pimp suit on, although it's not a pimp suit, but it's just a leisure suit, I guess. Uh, what do you think? Am I convincing? <laughs> Your own mother would have to look twice. How do you feel? Pretty good, sir. I'm ready. You have to be ready, Sunny and wide awake. You know what I have to go. You know. You'll have to go in without a weapon or a wire. If those men were to catch on you were a cop, they'd kill you in a heartbeat, understand? Yes, sir, I do. Lieutenant Morgan? Yes, Sergeant, what can I do for you? I'm afraid I have some terrible news. Jack Cobb's daughter, Kathy, died in the hospital about an hour ago. Apparently she never woke up. My God. Thank you, Sergeant Dooley. I appreciate you letting me know. You've spoken to Jack, yes? Yes, sir. Sonny, I think the importance of this operation is obvious to you. These men are killing innocent kids. They have to be stopped. Remember to keep a level head, though. Rage will only get you killed. These people, if you can call them that, are not to be trifled with. Be sure to check in with me after you've made contact with them. Yes, sir. I'm going to get them. You can be sure of that. Good. Head on over to the hotel, Sonny. Don't let this distract you. It's your wallet. I bet you wish you packed a little more heft. All right. Where the fuck is the hotel? All right. I don't even know which cars are. Are we driving the, the cop car? I mean, they're both cop cars. Besides ours, I think ours would be the 912 drive. Not the unmarked one, but hey, it is what it is. Alrighty, oh, Hotel Deforia. Coming right up. So much easier just to uh, make a left across traffic. It would have been so much easier to make a right. Walk up to them, they're automatic. 
Oh, now our head's wrong. It was right earlier. Yeah, we're going in, baby. What do we got here? It's an elevator button, no to elevator. Pick tools which hold messages for fellow guests and spare keys to the room. The registration desk, you're impressed. You've never seen one that doesn't have a gang or riding curve that's got. Right, let's see if somebody can help us here. Excuse me. What can I do for you, sir? I'd like a room. Let me see if I have one available. The clerk pretends to check in the registration book. It's pretty obvious who's checking you over. You look familiar. My name is Jim Lee Banksy. Friends call me Whitey. Whitey, sweet cheeks, uh, um, uh, Miss Marie told me about you. Clerk winks slavishly. We've got a room for you, pal. You can just have it for a special rate for just uh, for, just for Marie's friends. Seventy-five dollars a night. Thanks, my man. You fork over the bucks and glare the clerk <coughs> the key to the room two hundred two. So far, so good. <coughs> All right, let's head on the bar. What do you do for a living, Whitey? Nothing right now. I'm currently in uh, relaxation mode. You see, I just got released from the slammer. Did a stretch for embezzlement. Really, that's interesting. Oh, man, I can't believe I told you that. You mix these drunk strong, girl. Could you keep that little bit of information under your hat? I don't want people getting a bad impression of me. Don't worry, Whitey. Your dark secret's safe with me. It's not a big deal, really. Thanks, Alex. You're okay. Are you refreshed right here? Are you ready for a As long as it's with you, baby. It's just how I wanted to hear. How about you tell the baby for this week? Oh, you mean it? Oh, yes, I'd love to come with you. Oh, thank you. Well, you think it's that fun. I have to take the bar. Hey, okay, Alex. So, sweet chicks, baby. How about a tour of my room? I thought you'd never ask. Let's go, lover. Hey, Whitey. Come on over here for a second. You know, you can do it, baby. I just wonder what a gentleman like you does in his leisure time. Any hobbies that you think so? Oh, no, I'm a venerable monk. Right aside from the women, the gambling, and the illustrious pursuit of money. Is that right? Well, if you're to come back here later tonight, alone, except for a couple C notes, I might be able to get you into a little private party. You play cards, don't you? Oh, I know how to play Old Fish, Old Maid, Old Fish, and your salads. Sounds great. 
I'll be back here. Yeah, I'll watch my lady and I finish stripping the light. Fantastic. Does it work? What? Okay. See you, hot shot. Wow, you're doing better than this than you'd hope. This is Jeremy Cash. Stuff comes up next with you. This has been the Jimmy Cagney. Don't, baby. Don't keep me waiting. Just to spend some time together, talk to her, pick up the phone, and dial for one what? Oh, we're in room 202, right? Are we just going right into it? We are going right into it. That's what I'm talking about, finish. Hey, so this is some fancy pad. Is this apartment paying for this? Every bit, fortunately. I couldn't afford to stay here on my salary. I couldn't afford Motel 6. I don't want your money, honey. I don't want your money. Uh, uh, the department's putting the bill. Let's order some champagne and strawberries for room service, huh? Oh, no call cab yet, baby. We've got the room and the poker room been for a while. Come on, baby. What do you say? Yeah, we're going to bang her. We're going to bang out Marie right now. Bang. Bang. You spend the next several hours in absolute hedonistic bliss with Marie. You missed a poker game sometime around 9 and you get a phone call from Tim Morgan. He wasn't amused. He was dismissed from narcotics, duly signed up for your foot patrol for the next 10 years. Next time, keep your mind on your business and your answers. It was everything you've ever imagined. Unfortunately, Tim Morgan called you just as Marie was calling on her maker. Her foot knocked the phone off the hook, and the rest is history. In fact, your career is history. Nice. Murray, uh, I like you a lot. I didn't think I wouldn't love to, but I can't. I'm a duty. Besides, I'd like to get you to know you better first. Gee, Sonny, you're the nicest guy I know. You make me wish I hadn't screwed up my life so bad. If I met you got like you before, never mind. Anyway, you're probably right. I don't want you to get in trouble. Alright, let's get her the fuck out of here. We can't bang, then she's gotta go. I'm actually need to call a cab and get you out of here. Things can start to get dangerous. Alright, LTT operator, may I help you? Yeah, I'd like the number of the cab company. Uh, 668 Cab company, can I help you? Yes, please. Send a cab right to the hotel for you right away. Yes, sir. There's driving area, so it should just be a few minutes. Thank you. Well, I guess so. we better go catch that cab. Maybe I'll see you around. That's how you count on You can count on it. All right, let's call Morgan. Morgan. So this is Bonds. So make contact with Alex Jensen and I've been invited to the poker game. Great job, Sonny. Carry on. Caution. Sure will. Switch your report in after the game. Yes, sir. Just be careful. Goodbye, Sonny. Goodbye. Blah, 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 blah. All right. I think we get to play some poker. Got his room key. Let's go to the first floor. We can't go to the penthouse just yet, baby. This is the first floor. Alright, 
Livestock Dog Girl here. Hey, Whitey, what can I do for you? I've come take you up that offer you made earlier, Alex. I'm going to move to the store. Just give me the entry fee and I'll take you in. Okay, big guy, I'm afraid I gotta have to patch you down. Not that, I don't trust you or anything, but we have to be certain. I understand, babe. I'll suffer through it. Take your time now. See the position, smart ass. There goes my reputation. Okay, hot shot, cool your ears here while I clear the way. Hang on, Whitey. I'll be with you over in a minute. Why don't you take in the scenery? Alex steps out a strange pattern on the door. Yeah? Sit with quiet Karen, she turns and looks at you. All right, they're ready for you, big guy. Just go on in. I think this is what we want to see. Frank Magpie. Hello, Mr. Banksy, and I'm glad you could join us. My name is Frank Magpie, and these are my regular poker partners. Allow me to introduce you, Jimmy Lee Whitey Banksy. This is Otto Lipschitz. Hello, Mr. Pixing. Interesting. You look uh, interesting. Look, you have going on there. Nice to see you, Mr. Leapschitz. And this is Gene Bamboni. Hey, hey, Whitey, how's it hanging? Call me Bambino. All my friends do. Okay, Bambino, nice to meet you. Okay, enough with the small stuff. It's time to play poker. The name of the game is Five Card Draw. You know how to play Five Card Draw, don't you, Mr. Pixing? Yes, Mr. Pagpie, to you. Oh, he's a quick one. Let's see if your card skills are as sharp as your wit. Come on, Whitey. Aha! Frank toasted your biscuits, Whitey. Enough already. Let's play. Uh, no, but lose anyway? Yeah, we're playing poker. Yeah, we're crashing. your turn to deal now. Can we save it right now? No, we can't. Okay. All right, it's my turn to deal. All right. You've ended up two chips. What do we got here? Nothing. No. I got a pair of fives. Frank's got two chips. Everybody's in two. Frank folds, Gene folds, auto folds. All right, you win. Ha ha, I won six bucks. All right. Jack, King, Queen, what is that, six, seven, eight? calls, auto calls, four chips. Frank's got a pair of what though? A pair of queens, jack high? We got a king high. Oh, he's got aces. All right. Oh yeah, we're good.
Okay, I got a pair of queens, and then what is that? Nine, eight, nines. What? All right, our pairs are better. Our pairs are better. Everybody's got two pairs. What do we got here? Three, five, eight. We're dealing here so we're in so we got what is that two three four eight nine ten five seven four we ain't got shit Um, okay, so we got four, five, four, five, six, six, or seven, or we can do something like that. Yeah, so it's okay. Okay, pair of fives, better than nothing. Yeah, a pair of fours. Oh, I guess what I dropped, wasn't it? Yes, look at that. All right, queen. All right, here we go. Here's this thing. Let me hide. Let me hide. Oh, okay. Oh, three kind of things. Three different things. All right, here, queens. Yeah, I can't be sweet. I can't be sweet. I can't be sweet. I can't be sweet. I Alright, alright. Oh, we got shit. Everybody go. Hey, you're pretty good. Alright, two, three. One, two, three. Make four. Right? Where are we going to the Hey. Uh, alright, we got a pair of sevens. And a pair of fours.
Oh, is everybody staying in? There we go. Two pairs. What is it? Fives? No, threes and fives. I've got fours and sevens. Well, well, Mr. Bankstein, you're quite the poker player. My friends and I enjoy playing with the men of your skills. Perhaps you'd like to come back later and play in a more private setting. Oh, definitely, Mr. Magpie. Excellent. Come back in an hour or so. Just tell Alex that Frank sent you. I'll do that. Until later, Mr. Magpie. Until later. Bye, Whitey. You kick butt. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, Mr. Bankstein, you do know that the stakes will be higher, don't you? I would expect nothing less, Mr. Lipschitz. Goodbye. Do, 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 do. Go call the bar. Hey, lady. Room two, please. Floor two. Room two oh two. Turn your key, hot shot. Or just uh, let me in the fucking room. You know I got the key in my possession. James Morgan, it's Bonds. Hey, it sounds cheery. You sound cheerful, Sonny. I hope that means everything's going all right. Yes, sir. I went to the poker game and kicked butt. Well, I did quite well. One of the sharks seemed to be in charge. She invited our, uh, invited our, to me, he might be our man. They invited me to the second poker game later tonight. Very good, Bonds. A backup team is on their way. Wait for them. They're going to bring a transmitter and some more money. Remember, Bonds, you have to go in there unarmed. Act accordingly. In other words, use your head at all times. Yes, sir. I'll be careful. You do that, Sonny. Goodbye. Comforter is soft and heavy. Pillows have already been fluffed to the extent that these pillows can be. Besides, you won't be doing sleeping during this operation. You hear a knock at the door. Who is it? Candy Graham. Say what? Just kidding, Sonny. Lieutenant Morgan sent me. Okay, just a second. Yeah, let's yell that out through the door. Yeah, the cops sent me. Come in. Hello, Detective Bonds. I'm Detective Danny Anglin. Glad to see you. This is a transmitter. Just put it in your shirt pocket, and we'll be able to hear, every, hear you and everyone immediately around you. It's a one way, of course. So you won't have to be. Uh, you won't be able to hear us. That way, we'll be able to track you, and whenever you might, ask, whenever they might ask you to go after the poker game. Thanks, Danny. And there's another thousand dollars. We don't want you running out of funds in the middle of that poker game. Great. Maybe I can uh, even finish with a little more than I started. Looks like you're all set. Remember, we'll be there. If you get in trouble, we'll be right behind you. Thanks. That's good to know. You bet. Good luck, detective. All right, let's roll. I think we're going to have to wrap it up there, guys. I thought we were going to finish it up today, but it looks like we're not going to because I think we got more poker to play. Search me again. 
So I tell you, you can come and... What? No search? I was looking forward to it. I almost forgot. Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. My dear Alex, I'm wounded. Whitey, honey. You need to find out as many bodies as I have. They are a blur. Although, I probably won't forget that cute little rear end of yours for a while. So excuse me. Okay, honey, go on in. This is a different room. Ah, welcome, my friend. You already know Otto, so I won't bother to introduce you. Your wind is devise, stating Zamboni. That's Bamboni, lipshits. Bamboni. To my friends, you can call me Mr. Bamboni. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, why you Frank, which speed a minute. It's all on your shorts. Who's probably stuck? I assure you that Mr. Mac might be down any moment. Please don't inflict a conversation on me. I have low tolerance for mediocrity. Be cool, Whitey. My friend Frank's on his way. Just shining his shoes and powdering his nose. Ha 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 ha. We're just supposed to hang out here? Do a poker table. Mr. Banksy, thank you for your patience and welcome back. Perhaps after the game, you're interested in talking some business. I very much like that, Mr. Magpie. Very good, gentlemen. Shall we play? Yep, yeah, let's get on with it. What is that? Four, eight, eight. That's a nine. That's a seven. Pair of eights. Still got a pair of eights. Ah, I got a pair of kings. Um, I don't know what the fuck we have here. Seven, seven, nine, ten. All right, we got a pair of tents. Right. Ace high. Let's start bluffing. Oh, we can bet higher than that now? Oh, shit. We can do 25 now. Pair of fours. Nice. Okay, so we're keeping our threes. Ten, nine, and six. Damn it. Let's try to bluff him out again. Fuck. All right, here we go. So we got six, we got pairs. We got a six, we got pair of aces. What is that? Six, that's a seven. That's an eight. Damn it. I think I had one of those. Not to ten. I didn't have a ten. Okay, we got a pair of aces. We're going. They said this is a big baller game, right? Nice. And like that, we out. It's a mighty smooth card plating, Whitey. That was a fine poker plating, Whitey. Guess we're going up.
play a good game of poker, Mr. Bankstein. That proves to me that you're sharp. There's something I want to tell you. My name isn't Frank Magpie. It's Jesse James. You may have heard of you before. No? Some I made of coin an amusing little nickname for me. The Death Angel. Starting to sound familiar? Uh, I think so. You're becoming infamous. Yes, unfortunately, I've got a little too much notoriety lately. Consequently, I just can't be too careful. I'm sure you understand the need for occasional aliases, Whitey. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Of course you do, Whitey. I have a nice elaboration here. And you may have noticed, and there's uh, more, more going on here than meets the eye. I'm in the process of expanding. Can use a good man. This can be quite a lucrative deal for what I had in mind for you. Excuse me, Will, won't you? I'll take the call in the other room. Help yourself to refresh at the bar. I'll be back over to you. All right, so we got to figure out where we are. Room 401. Back up, this is Whitey requesting code 3 video locations, top floor of the penthouse to Whitey, room 401, repeat 401. Five minutes later. Seems that one of our playing partners recognized you from somewhere, Mr. Bankstein. Actually, happened to be glancing through the newspaper and as soon as I got any recognized the big winner in our property, and Mr. Bankstein, I think Officer Sonny Bonds, the LAPD Officer of the Year, eh? What, how impressive. What a shame you were receiving that award both when you're dead. I do hope you've made peace with whatever gods you may abandon here, Mr. Bonds. In other words, Bonds, you alright? So yeah, I'm okay. Thank God for a minute I thought you were close. Yeah, so did I. So did I. You got him. That thing goes down, you go over the bush. It's really easy to get up on the steps. You've never seen a man get down before. Unable to turn away, you stare at him. Just he makes his work. You notice a slight rise and fall of his chest. Detective England called for England. This man is alive. That's it, y'all. Another one in the books. Never like it, haven't already. Never something you're new. 